Well, I know I've made it to a beautiful place. I would love to spend the night out here. I feel like it's going to be freezing. Um, I mean, obviously, from the snow. But, yeah, I actually, I don't really know what's going on at the moment, but my car, well, I do know. My car's burning up a ton of gas. That alternator's dead. It's, it's still charging the battery, but, like, kind of, like, just barely. Um, so I really don't think it's going to run my car for very long. And I'm probably going to have to figure out a solution before I get to Rusty's. So, yeah. The alternator is only putting out about 13-something volts. I would be surprised if I make it down to Klamath without it totally crapping out. But I do have a new alternator showing up there. Um, so that's good. It should save me some money uh, to just replace it right now uh, and then get to it later if it starts to fail again. I think I just got a dud. So we'll see how this next one goes. Uh, if I if I start to kill it with my inverter again, then we'll see. But uh, yeah, I kind of still want to get the high output one installed. Uh, it would just enable a lot more stuff down the road, but it is a big project. I have to do the big three. Uh, wiring upgrades, increasing the gauge of the wires so that it can actually pass the current from the upgraded alternator. But uh, for now, it's just going to be a stock one, so I don't need to change anything. Um, and it really shouldn't be that hard of a change. Um, if you take this car to a shop, the book tells you to take off the whole air intake, and that's just completely unnecessary. Um, you really only have to take off the EGR valve and uh, replace the gasket, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Um, definitely going to have to review the videos and what I'm going to need to do. Uh make sure that belt is on there correctly and yeah i'll be good to go but car does need an oil change so i might try to do that at the same time all right well hey i just wanted to thank everybody for being on the journey with me so far um you know i know that it's kind of hectic and uh sometimes the episodes don't really make any sense and uh <laughs> it's kind of just slapped together but you know you guys who keep watching uh, I really appreciate it it means the world to me um yeah I mean I'm just so glad to have built like a small following here on YouTube and uh, I get I love the questions you know keep the questions coming I love to tell you guys about the build uh when it's in a more finalized state uh, I'm gonna do a complete walkthrough uh, of every piece how I built it what I did um I don't think it's complete yet though. I still have no heating solution. Uh, so that's gonna be really important. And um, yeah, so hey, you guys keep it real, keep on the road, keep living life. Um, don't let anything slow you down and uh, just know that you can do it. You can accomplish it. So yeah, anyway, have a good day. Morning, morning. I've been at work. Um, but yeah, this is a very beautiful place to wake up. So just kind of crawled out of bed here. And this is what I get as a view. Oh my goodness. And it's staying like super warm inside the car, even though it's probably like 40 or 50 degrees outside. Like I don't even need heat.
in this kind of cold. It would have to get pretty cold to need heat in here because it's such a small space. You know, like right now, it is currently 62 in here, which is not bad at all. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I prefer like 70, but honestly, a I'd prefer a little chilly to a little warm, you know? Um, but yeah, just, just hanging out, you know, having a, having a morning. Um, I got this new little bag, which is kind of cool that I'm keeping all my like, you know, dry veggies in, got garlic and onions in there. Um, yeah. So more storage, more places to put stuff. I, uh, I think I could really put the fridge down here if I wanted to, but I don't know. It's probably not where it's going to end up living. Um, yeah. So anyway, what an adventure snowy it's probably about 40 some degrees out right now i've got some layers on that's for sure probably about four um so yeah and i'm still a little chilly <laughs> such as the cold uh and i just uh spent some time in a very warm place so yeah um either way what a pretty spot it's been a great time actually testing out the uh the winter capabilities of the honda fit so yeah, I stayed pretty toasty in there. It was like 54, 55 degrees when I woke up in there today. I did not leave the windows cracked, so there would have been a little bit of condensation. But uh, yeah, you know, overall, I think that's fine for a 40 degree night. Like I could just stay in there, no problem, in my sleeping bag, a little bundled up, and I'd be totally all right. Um, getting any colder than this, I could see that potentially being a problem. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do a heater solution if I want to do some ski trips and stuff like that. But yeah, I think, you know, definitely would have to stay in warmer areas, get a heater or vice versa, depending on what I end up doing. So yeah, um, peace out. Um, hope to catch you guys soon. I'm going to try to swap the alternator tomorrow. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it tonight because it's going to get dark and cold and I don't know it just doesn't seem like a tonight kind of thing I want to go get some food find a little place to hunker down and get to AutoZone first thing in the morning start getting the alternator out before the shop even opens hopefully <laughs> I don't know I'm not a very good morning person but uh, anyway catch you later Gotta love truck stop shower. So, this is kind of what you get, you know? Um, there is soap, but I bring my own. It's very nice, these places are always very clean. Um, so yeah, no complaints there, so. All right, that's not enough light. But here we are in a campsite that is totally fine. <laughs> No worries on that. It's a trailhead, so honestly, like, I don't think anybody's going to care. I got myself some Thai food for tonight. Uh, super excited about that. I haven't done that in a while. Um, you know, just, just nice to take a nice, easy evening in the car, I think. I'm not going to do too much. I'm not even going to edit anything. I'm just going to look for some stuff to do in New Mexico. And, uh, yeah. Is what it looks like when it's still together. So, EGR valve is coming out first. All right, got the EGR valve free here, so it's gonna come out. One would hope, <laughs> just like that. And then that can go clean over there.
the coolant on it, I think. There's a there's a coolant line. Must run into the EGR valve. Um, but okay, that's the alternator. That's what's going to come out. So, I'm going to get these studs out. Alright, so for removing these studs, I'm going to be holding one nut like this and turning the other nut with that wrench. There we go. All right, U joint to get at the bottom bolt under here. So, kind of snake this, you know, up under there, and then you can use that to loosen the bottom bolt. So, yeah, you kind of just got a feel for it. Um, so, yeah, but EGR valve over here just for a second, just so I can get my hands down in there. Um, the belt is not coming off. The last mechanic did tell me it was very, very tight. Um, you know, I'm just worried about the AC compressor clutch if I do put the original belt back on, which I still have, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. Really just busted my hand on the back of that, but it's okay. I'm sure I'll be fine. Um, neat little trick I saw on the YouTubes. You put a uh, string right here and hold the belt so you don't actually have to take the belt off. Um, and then you can just replace the alternator and slide the belt back on when you're done. So, yeah. All right, the alternator free. I'm gonna take off the electrical connections on the back now. Got it. Time to go. Auto zone. All right, that's that. Got it all back in there together. The belt is pretty tight. Uh, hopefully that's all lined up. Got this line reconnected. Jar valve plugged back in. Last thing to do, set back up the battery. All right, moment of truth. got my new alternator in, uh, got the oil topped off, um, I did lose about a quart of oil in all of that uh, from Colorado to here, so definitely something I should start keeping an eye on uh, if the car is starting to burn a little bit of oil. Uh, valve adjustment might help with that, but you know, it is what it is. Engines start to burn a little oil once they get up towards 200, so that's where the car's at, you know, it's 140. So, um, 139.7 actually and it's gonna be at 140 something by the time I get back to my cousins so this is pretty good I got a new air filter uh, I didn't install it that's gonna be uh, 145 150 kind of thing and then um, yeah you know I think overall the car is in really good shape um, I do want to buff out the headlights gotta get some rags for that and the rags at AutoZone were like $20 and I was like what the hell that doesn't seem right so you know what, I'm just going to take it easy today and uh, drive a little bit, listen to some music, find a good camp spot, and just hunker down from there. So yeah, that's that's the plan. Alright, well, uh, yeah, just catch you guys later.